Gonna do some panning late in the day, so it's already starting to get dark. We got about a hour, hour and a half maybe. It's already pretty dark in the forest and it's cloudy out. But I figure we can do a few pans and find some gold. So there's a lot of larger rocks and heavy material organics in this. And this area, a couple years ago I was panning here and uh, I got some really good gold. There's lots of debris and everything that's washed over. And uh, there was some nice chunky bits in there so we just stopped by here on the way back from prospecting all day and hopefully we find something good for you. We got lots of uh, schist in here. This is mica schist. Mica schist there. don't have anything to classify the material today, so we will just pan. Water's cold, but not too cold. Okay, let's clean that up. There's not a lot of black sand in this Sometimes you see uh, sulfides like iron pyrite though. There we go. That's the sulfides in there mixed with a little bit of uh, finer material. That's a pretty decent pan where we got like 10 colors. I just ran back to the vehicle to grab a better pan. I didn't realize I had this. This way we won't need to classify. Some good gold in this one. I knew this spot would pay off. Holy! Look at that! That is loads of gold. It's all fine gold, but that's uh, maybe a tenth of a gram. Wow, that's really good gold. Just to show you where we're taking our material from, it's nowhere special. It's basically right on the edge of the bank. There's quite a bit of roots and uh, organics that have built up here. Bedrock. And there's bedrock there, I guess. That's always a good sign. Your bedrock is this uh, schistose rock here. You got a mix of sericite schist and uh, mica schist. After this, I want to try one more pan or a couple pans up higher. I saw this bank that's a little bit eroded. Although my fingers are getting cold.
again, look at the gold. That is awesome. Pretty stoked on that. I don't remember seeing this much last time we were here. There's like 25 colors in there easily. So this area right here, where you see the more rounded rock, that's generally where we find the, the best gold. So that's where we're gonna take a pan from see if we get anything. I can see some quartz right where he's digging, right there. This is actually a chunk of quartz, it's not a quartz vein. But uh, generally you see some barren quartz and you see some gold bearing quartz. Um, and occasionally you can find a little bit of sulfides mixed in with that. We're cleaning off our gold as we go and we're dumping it in that pan. So afterwards we'll show you all the gold, but from now let's do our uh, last pan here. See, there's like clay-like material there too. Really dirty. Pretty small, but it's a picker. Get some of the black sands off of there first. Another awesome pan. We got our gold in there. I'm just gonna quickly clean this up a bit more, but you can see there's a decent amount. That's 11 pans I think we did. Alright, that's good enough to get a good look at that. Right there we got about uh, I'd say almost a quarter gram. A couple of flakes, one little picker. All right guys, that's it. We'll see you at the next one. We are out of here.